Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show a few tips and tricks on how to decorate your worksheet, I'm going to say, or how to make it look a little bit nicer. Now, at first, when we have a brand new worksheet, the columns are pretty much endless and the rows are endless. One of the things that I like to do in a lot of my workbooks is hide all of those rows so that we don't see them and that way we have a nice clean worksheet that you can say cuts off and the user can't scroll down it any further and I'm going to show you how we can do that. I'm going to stop it at 18. I'm going to highlight the entire row. I'm going to hit control shift down. This is going to highlight every single row all the way down to the very bottom of the sheet. I'm going to let go of control shift down. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to select hide. Now the work the worksheet stops at row 17. The user cannot scroll down. If they scroll down, all they see is just the background of the background workspace of the, of the workbook. And we can do the same thing for the columns. I'm going to start it with K. I'm going to select it all. Control Shift. This time we're going to hit the right key. And it's going to go all the way over to the last column. Same principle right click it and then hide. So now all we're working here is just with this piece. User can uh, if the user scrolls over, all they're going to see is just an empty workspace. But now this is what you have to work with. Now, if we want to decorate this, Microsoft Excel 2007 implemented some some shapes that we can use, and I like that's exactly what I like to do. I'll use a shape right here. Shape. Let's say at the top we want to put a little title here. And right click and hit edit text and we'll just put Microsoft Excel form and here you of course you can change it I mean if you don't like this style you can edit the shape maybe rounded rectangle okay change maybe the font size you can highlight and then increase the font size 16 now check this out. You can there's a lot of characteristics you can do under the drawing tools. You can do a uh, shape effects. You can put a shadow on the back if you want. Maybe give it a little bevel. That way you get a nice 3D look. And another question that I'm commonly asked is how do you get rid of the grid lines? There's two ways you can do that. Number one, you could fill the color as white and that would get rid of all the grid lines but if you don't want to do a fill another option that you can do is under your view tab uncheck mark grid lines all the grid lines are gone I'm gonna go on and put the grid lines back so let's just say that here you have a drop down list select a date and let's just say that this box right here is a, is a drop down or D and E. I'm going to format the cell. I'm going to merge these cells together so I have both cells highlighted format cells and we're going to do merge cells. Select a date. Now I'm not going to show how to do the drop down menu, but if you want to see how to do a drop down menu, look at one look at my previous video that I have. I have a video posted on how to create a drop down menu. But what I want to show here is how you can use this same shape up here to create a border. Because yes, you can format a border using this option and there's more bordering options. That way you can work with the dotted lines. I mean, there are limitations as to what you can do with the border. So let me show you what you can do with the shapes. Go under your, go to insert, go to shape, and we're going to use the same shape, but I'm going to actually do the rectangle. And I'm going to put that over D and E, this specific field. Now that's useless. It blocks out the date, but what you can do is right click this, do format shape, and we're going to do under fill, select no fill, and hit OK. That actually makes this not so much transparent, but there's no fill, it's just a border, and you can still pick you can still pick this field. So we can just line this up so that it's better shape there you go 
and now you can make this look a little bit nicer you can do um, the shape fill you can do a gradient if you want actually no that's not what I'm looking for do under a shape outline you can still do dashes you can increase the weight and what I like most about this is that you can put a shadow I mean there's many different views that you can do the 3d rotation wouldn't be suitable in this case but what I like a lot again is just the 3d options you can do a glow if you'd like perhaps a reflection and these are options that you can't get using just a regular border so this is a few tips and tricks as to what you can do to make your Excel workbook or worksheet look a little bit nicer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.